Hey guys, welcome to another Outcrop video. Today we're going to be talking about the tectonic history of the UK. So we're going to need a few things to help us. We're going to need this so we can track ourselves through geological time. And we're going to need this so that I can show you guys what's happening. We're going to cover the three, three of the main sort of tectonic events that have shaped the United Kingdom. Firstly, we're going to go through it with whiteboard method, and then we're going to go through it again with some more technical diagrams. So, to start off our story, we will be here in a period known as the Cambrian, and the world looked a little like this. We have Laurentia, which contains Scotland here, and then we have a large supercontinent known as Gondwana, which is something like that. Um, and within Gondwana, there are two subcontinents that break away, one of these being called Avalonia, otherwise known as having sort of England on it. Um, and this one is Baltica, which is sort of the Norwegian and now the East European Craton. And so, these two areas separate from the rest of Gondwana and start moving northwards relative to Laurentia. And there's an ancient ocean in between here called the Iepetus Ocean, something like that anyway. And it's about 7,000 kilometers between Laurentia and Avalonia. Um, and so, back to our time scale. In the time period from here to here, we see um, these two continents coming together. And as they come together, when the continents start hitting into each other, that is called the Caledonian orogeny. And that forms Scottish Highlands in particular. And there's also some really significant faults that are formed from this time, the scraping together of these two continents. So now the second uh, event that we're going to talk about happens from where we got to last time, here, and it continues up till the Permian, um, which is this red patch here. And so now the continents, we have a sort of Euro-Americas, which is um, with that Avalonian Baltica joined onto Laurentia, and we have Gondwana. And now, basically, uh, we're talking about them colliding with each other. And so um, this is called Variscian orogeny, um, and some of the uh, mountains that are formed from this, some of the mountains of Portugal, um, and also those uh, mountains around Cornwall area, and we now see massive granites um, in the ground that would have formed beneath that mountain range as a result. And this, this um, orogeny creates Pangaea, which is sort of the supercontinent that we are very fam we're familiar with, and it uh, is where all the continents are together, and we have stuff like the dinosaurs. So while we're on the subject of dinosaurs, we have an exciting announcement. Three new cool dinosaur t-shirt designs in adults and kids t-shirts are available online, outcrop.tmail.com. Well, so next up, we have uh, Pangaea breaking up in the, uh, which starts to happen in the Jurassic time, this blue patch here. And um, the Atlantic starts opening. And for our story, most significantly, is that, um, I'll draw a quick Pangaea, is that Pangaea starts um, separating like this, with this being Africa and this sort of being Eurasia. So Europe and Asia, and this big ocean starts appearing um, between the two, and it's called the Neotethys Ocean. And it's significant because basically it closes again, um, and tectonic forces change, 
and you get the subduction of this ocean that used to be there. And um, that's when we see our third um, tectonic event that has a bit of an effect on the UK, which is somewhere sort of here. Um, that's my UK. Um, and it shows itself in uh, the building of the Alps this time, and it's called the Alpine Orogeny. And for the UK, it just affects some of the very south coast. We see some sort of anticlinal features and some folding that takes place and not much more. And it's closing during this green patch, the Cretaceous period. So to sum that up, we have our three significant tectonic events that have affected the UK. We have our first one, Cambrian to Devonian, which is the Caledonian orogeny, so Scottish highlands, mountains formed. And then we have our Devonian to uh, Permian, which is where Pangaea gets formed, and we see like the Cornish granites as a result of that. And then we have our Cretaceous, which is closing of uh, the Neotethys Ocean, the building of the Alps, and we get some bump effect in southern England. So now we're going to use some proper diagrams instead of my drawn ones. Um, I also mentioned some of the faults uh, that are across Scotland. That's because as uh, Avalonia crashed into Laurentia, it then didn't really stay still. It sort of slipped hundreds of kilometers along the edge. And that's why there are these massive faults and we get the Great Glen of uh, Scotland, which are to do with this sliding motion between Avalonia and Laurentia at the time. Another thing I mentioned that is key is that during the Jurassic, Pangaea breaks up and this enables the third crash to happen. Looking at these diagrams, Scotland's on this bit, Laurentia, so is America, and England's on this bit, which is yet to break away from Gondwana. So we see them starting to drift together. Here is Scotland versus England. They come together further, now they're actually touching, and this is the Caledonian orogeny, creating Cairngorms and Appalachians. And this sort of continues, here's some of the sliding happening. And now we have reached the uh, Variscian orogeny, which is the rest of Gondwana catching up and smashing into Laurentia, which is now uh, our Euro-American plate. So the Triassic, starting to see our dinosaurs. And now we have it, that orogeny is completed. There is one constant now. You can see my diagram was highly accurate, um, very similar to the one on the left here. And um, this is now Pangaea our last supercontinent, and it starts breaking up in the early Jurassic. Here it is, Africa separating from Asia and Europe with the Neotethys Ocean coming in. And then by late Jurassic, we have the Atlantic Ocean starting to open. This includes the North Sea rifting apart a bit, but then um, plates deciding that actually they wanted uh, the UK to stay with Europe and so the Atlantic rifts form and instead separates Scotland from Greenland and rifts that side of the UK. And now we have um, Neotethys Ocean in between Africa and Eurasia and here is it closing again and this is our Alpine orogeny where we see the UK affected by very small bumps in comparison to the very large mountains of the Alps. So that's us. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed and learned something. Um, and yeah, uh, feel free to like and subscribe and comment if you would like to see more content like this. Also feel free to check out the website and especially those new dinosaur t-shirts. 
stay safe in lockdown.